Hello everyone and welcome to our channel chemistry class. So today we will be learning how to convert benzene into acetophenone. Most of you must have known this structure of acetophenone. It is COCH3 which is attached to the benzene ring. And yeah, this is C6H6 that is benzene and this is an aromatic compound as you all know. And uh, yeah, by looking this this kind of questions in exam, you must be wondering how to get this product from a simple compound like benzene. Like how, to, how do we get this kind of a complex product from a simple product? That means what I am trying to tell you is that benzene is having the ability to give COCH3. We all know that. But how? What is the process in between? That means what are the reagents or what are the reagents and both the catalysts that are being used in this reaction? We have to know the mechanism and also we have to know the complete process in which the benzene is being completely transferred or completely changed into something like acetophenone. Let me write you the spelling of acetophenone and if you are making notes of this video then it's very good for you because it will help you in exams and yeah let me continue with the class and uh, yeah so that's what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, benzene being converted to acetophenone we all know that it is being converted because the arrow mark says that it is already converted but how do we convert this so let's see now you have to remember is that to these kind of reactions you have to add anhydrous aluminium chloride anhydrous aluminium chloride is to be added and now this is this may be the first step but now you have to concentrate here because anhydrous aluminium chloride is the it, it plays a key role in this today's reaction so let's see the first step let me erase this hope you have taken a screenshot or written in your notes yeah let me erase this so the first thing is that this is benzene and this is a CH3 COCl and now this is being converted to COCH3 in the presence of AlCl3 that's all we know and yeah now the first thing you have to see is that this AlCl3 this is very important because now this is going to react with CH3COCl let me write it down. CH3COCl is being reacted with AlCl3. And now what happens is that this AlCl3 and this CH3COCl, this chlorine comes and attaches to this AlCl3. And then this CH, uh, CH3CO becomes plus because it has lost something. Since this is minus and this is also plus and this goes and attaches here and after gaining extra chlorine it becomes AlCl4 minus the signs are very important in organic reactions so this CH3CO becomes plus and the Cl is minus so this minus goes and attaches to this AlCl3 and after gaining something a molecule becomes minus and after giving something a molecule becomes plus please remember this thing and yeah CH3CO plus Cl minus plus AlCl3 and this happens is that what happens is that uh, AlCl4 minus and then CH3 C plus double bond O so finally we got CH3C double bond O and AlCl4 they got separated now what happens is that this CH3C double bond O plus this goes and attacks our benzene ring so let me write the, that after erasing this. So now this benzene ring is being attacked by CH3C double bond O plus and what we get is that as you all know this benzene ring has one hydrogen here and this 
since this is plus this becomes plus and this becomes minus here so this CH3 C double bond O comes and attaches here CH3 C double bond O it comes and attaches here and this is also plus and yeah after getting attached in the previous reaction if you remember AlCl4- is left out so again this AlCl4- will attack this benzene ring C double bond O and AlCl4- and now what happens since this hydrogen is plus and this AlCl4 is minus what happens is that one Cl minus comes and attacks this hydrogen plus and what we get when H plus and Cl minus combine together we get a deadly acid called HCl and then this goes out and AlCl4 minus lost one chlorine that means lost one chlorine so that's why again it becomes a neutral compound this AlCl3 and yeah so two, we got two byproducts AlCl3 and HCl and what is the remaining thing yeah that is the main product we finally came to the end of the reaction CH3 C double bond O which is attached to this benzene ring and this is called acetophenone so this is the complete mechanism or process by which we convert a normal compound like benzene to a complex compound like acetophenone. Hope you all liked my video and if you find this video very valuable then please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any kind of doubts you can mail me or you can also add a comment in the comment section down below. I will be definitely replying with you within a few hours or few minutes sometimes. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, making some time to watch my video. Meet you all in the next video. Thank you.